what is up my lovely virgos and welcome back to the channel and welcome to your november 2021 tarot and astrology reading in this video i blend tarot and astrology together to give you a reading for the month and this will resonate most if you're a virgo rising but you may find some messages here and there for you if you're a virgo sun or moon so make sure to watch all your other signs so you can get all the readings so let's get into it virgo november is a month that is a busy month for you you have a lot going on in the houses that deal with busy 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 shit okay your third and your sixth right your third house is like your day-to-day -day places and errands and shit like that the places that you frequent on a day-to-day -day basis, the things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis, who you communicate with on a day-to-day -day basis. And your sixth house is like your maintenance, right? Like what maintenance you need to keep up with to keep the lifestyle that you're having, to keep in good health, to keep your job, work shit that you have to do. And so you could really find these two areas kind of combining, right? Like your, your environment, your community, your city, your town, your local environment mixed with your health, your job, your work, all of these different things. It's like, it, it may feel like you got a lot going on. Like I got a lot to do. I got a lot of responsibility resting on my shoulders. You may feel like you have a lot of commitments or obligations coming up. You may feel like you just have a lot going on. And so I know as busy as you can feel and as busy as you can be, it may feel like, holy shit, this is too much, like I need to take a step back or I need to end something or whatever the case may be. And so what I'm seeing here, Virgo, is that sometime this month, likely in like the beginning or middle of the month, you may come to an impasse here. It may feel like, oh, I'm in a situation and I don't know which way to go or, oh, I'm in a situation and it feels like I need to just end things or somehow give up, right? Like let it go. And the cards are saying that is not what you should do. Uh, the cards are telling me that it is about balance, right? It is about balance this month because if not, you could find yourself getting very frustrated and very impatient on a month like this. It could feel like, you know, like you're just constantly rushing. You're constantly trying to get shit done. You're like doing this, you're doing that. <laughs> it could be a lot of road rage with Mars in your third but it's really important to find balance, okay? Now, with this, it seems like there could be some situations that you find yourself in this month, Virgo, that are confrontational, confronting basically some kind of conflict. So it could feel like maybe there are people you're coming across that are either starting something with you or maybe you're feeling confrontational or something like this. And this month, it is so important that you try to stay out of shit, right? Like you may find yourself really getting, trying to get in the middle of shit or trying to be the peacemaker in some way or trying to settle some kind of dispute. So it is very important this month over ago that you stay impartial, that you stay unbiased, that you don't try to cling to one idea over the other or one side over the other because there is more to discover here with this discovery card. There is more than what meets the eye. And so what you may think is true may actually not be true. The opposite may be true. And so it's very important. I know it could feel like you're frustrated. So it's easier to maybe just be mad at someone or, you know, point to someone else and have them take the blame. But it's not, I'm just saying you may want to just watch out for these things. Okay. Do what you want. I'm just saying. I'm also getting this because we have the card listening here. And it seems like it's going to be really important, especially in your relationships and connections that you make with other people this month, that you listen to what's actually going on, that you really take the time to make sure that you are not just rushing past something because that could happen on a month like this. Like with this Mars Saturn square in your third and sixth, that could feel like a very push pull energy. And so you could feel like, oh yeah, okay, whatever. And try to just like move on and ignore, ignore it, but it may come back to bite you. So just be weary of that. This is a month that you really want to kind of listen. And then with commitment here, like I said, you're going to have like a lot of commitments this month. 
It could also feel like in your commitments, or your commitment with another person, whether it's a relationship or a work partner or a family member, whatever, it could kind of feel like you're a one ring circus this month, right? Like you are not having much to work with and you're kind of having to do it all by yourself in some way. Um, so watch out for that and make sure that you are communicating, but also listening because there may, like I said, there may be more going on than what meets the eye here. We also have the golden place and gratitude, which both of these are kind of the same thing. Um, I think that this is a month that it's important to, you can't like force yourself to be grateful, right? Like that it's kind of hard, right? Grateful is like, it comes naturally as a feeling, but I think that you could really be examining a certain lack mentality that you have or you could really be only paying attention to what's going wrong or what you're lacking or what you don't have or what you need still and this could put you in a very kind of icky headspace for the month and so i think that there could be a lot of really cool things that come this month if you can just ride the wave and go with the flow and not get too in conflict with some situation or some conversation or some idea or some person, whatever the case may be, you can stay in this gratitude state and in this in the flow state if you can be impartial and if you can find a balance between work and shit that needs to be done, work and errands or, you know, whatever the case may be. So then for your tarot, we start off the month with the seven of wands, which like I said, there could be an impasse at the beginning of the month that really kind of seems like, you know, what should I do? Should I end something? It could feel like you're kind of on your own in a situation. And then we have the Hierophant. It's not the actual, because we also have the Eight of Cups here, it's not the actual goal that needs to change. It's the way that you're going about the goal. It's the way that you are, you know, it's not that you should just give up and say, and throw the towel and say, I tried. It's like, no, keep doing what you're doing, but maybe change your perspective on it maybe change your belief or your view on it, right? Maybe there is some emotional attachment to how you're perceiving it or your belief systems or your conditioning or your programming that needs to be changed with the Eight of Cups here. Because we also have the Two of Pentacles, which once again, balance. You know, you could be juggling a lot this month. It could feel like you're, you're really kind of on your own doing some shit, right? And like, you know, but you also have to know how to ask for help how to invite others to help you with the Princess of Cups here. You have to know your energy, you have to know your limits on your energy and not overly exhaust yourself because then you're gonna be in the hangman, right? Which is gonna force you to have a new perspective. It's gonna force you to sit still. It's gonna force you to, you know, there's gonna be consequences to over exerting yourself this month. So really be kind of wary of that. But with the hangman, I feel like you're going to be getting to a point where it's like, okay, I need to just surrender and I need to listen rather than keep trying to do. I need to allow things to be and be in the flow of things rather than moving against them, right? It's like you need to be moving with the wave and not against it on a month like this. So hopefully that makes sense for you, Virgo. I know I know that's kind of a lot here, but I really see that there's a lot of things that you could be doing that we're trying to do this month that make you a little bit impatient or have you in like a, a state where you're just really not seeing the benefit of it anymore. And that could come from a lack of balance where you're not balancing out something in your life, two areas of your life, you're overdoing one and not giving the other enough attention. Um, or it could be that you're too attached to a certain idea or belief that is causing some kind of conflict with others or within yourself. And so anyways, so astrologically, like I said, we have the Mars Saturn square from your third to your sixth. So your immediate environment, short travels, your car, transportation, um, cousins, siblings, uh, distant relatives, communications, your day-to-day -day errands and locations that you visit, your environment, all of that is, and also learning and, and stuff like that, all of that is somehow in a conflict with your health, your day-to-day -day routines, maintenance, and work. And so there could be something that you're 
having to learn in order to be able to do it, some skill you're trying to master. There could be some kind of conflict within what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis versus your health. There could be certain health responsibilities that you've been neglecting that could come up that you need to take care of. There could be certain work responsibilities that you've been neglecting uh, that come up that need to be taken care of or certain rules with work, uh, certain authority figures with work, certain obligations or commitments with work that need to be faced, addressed, or taken care of this month. And so those are some other things that you can notice coming up. But other than that, we have a lot of Uranian energy too, which is in your ninth house. So this is a month where you could experience a lot of breakthroughs uh, in terms of your worldviews, your belief systems, right? Like the way that you look at things, the way that you look at the world, where you find meaning, purpose, you know, what you believe in. You could really be kind of going through some changes. You could be going through some major upgrades regarding uh, education or wanting to learn something new, something along those lines. So definitely let me know down below, Virgo, if this ends up resonating. I'd love to know as always, and it would really help my video out if you commented down below and liked this video. These videos are a lot of work and I try to separate them this month and I'm kind of regretting it to be honest because I don't really feel like it was worth it. I feel like it could have went a lot better if I would have just put them all in one video like I've been doing. But anyways, I will see you guys in my other videos. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys have a very insightful November and I will see you guys in my other videos.